Could you please stop destroying the easement? No! F you! Ah. It's my property and stay the f it's off. the HOA pedestrian easement. What it is not your property to hey, destroy this. Show me the document. Show it is in the book of deeds. Does it say that the HOA owns it? Ooh, baby. This is some neighborhood drama going to the next level. <laughs> and Carrie, viral video on Reddit today over a guy named Keith that has now been dubbed cul-de-sec Kevin on Reddit. <laughs> kind of hilarious. Oh, what a battle over an easement. Oh, easements in our neighborhood. Let's, de it. let's define easement. What is an easement? Is the easement's like the area that's kind of in between properties. You know, you yes. sometimes you'll have a ditch in the very back of your yard that I have that leads right up to our neighbor. It's kind of on both of our property lines. And sometimes these these uh, gray spaces are used to allow access or, to walkways. Or and, exactly. And, Sorry, go ahead. And in this case, uh, they have paved a, a cute little bridge that takes this person's borderline of his properties onto the walkway. And so that's what he's destroying with the jackhammer. Yeah, it's like you have that beautiful trail behind your house and you have that little sidewalk that Sarah mentioned going between houses. Anyway, this guy, I guess him and his family have lived in this area for a long time. Now he's defending his turf, the guy losing his mind. So Meanwhile, tough. You got the other guy, most likely, who lives in the neighborhood uh, talking about this easement. And the video is wild because he has power tools out there. He has drills. He is destroying this sidewalk saying, this is my land. This is my, you know, area. Get off, pretty much get off my lawn guy that we have. I wonder if he would have been as much uh, as bees in his bonnet if he didn't own both houses. But he owns both houses on each side of the easement. That borderline of the properties is... His borderline. Yeah, no, he probably had a vision when he bought both houses. This is what he was going to do. And no one's getting in my way. Not you with the cell phone walking up to me politely asking what I'm doing, representing the public interest. And I don't care about my neighbors. They can't use yeah. this beautiful trail. Also, in the, the unfortunate thing when you go viral and you're this guy, there's a video of it. You see his face. We now know his name. And I'm like, this is not the look we want. Because outside of this, you might have caught him in a really bad moment. I have no idea who this guy is. I've never interacted with him, but that is our three-minute snapshot of what this guy might be like. Two things that jump out. One, how many other Abercrombie and Fitch shirts does this old is man have in his closet? <laughs> what is he doing wearing the moose? Of course this guy goes to Abercrombie and Fitch. What are you doing, dude? He's like 60 years old. Do you think, is he 60? No, I thought I he was know. I just, looked younger uh, than no, that to me. He's in his 50s somewhere going to Abercrombie and which Fitch. Which isn't old, but I just don't like this guy, so I'm calling him old. Yeah, and yeah. then, what's your second point? This is the most important point. Mm -hmm. So egregious. How can you be so angry while wearing on clouds? They're so comfortable. I know. <laughs> I bought my first pair a month ago, and it's the greatest shoe that ever did live. You're right. Why? And by the way, why What's are you doing- What's his rage level when he's barefoot? <laughs> my God. <laughs> why are you doing lawn stuff and power equipment stuff when you got ons on? Don't you put your towel too close Brian, to his at the beach. He's got bare feet. These are a, a lot of- <laughs> Good questions. You're right, Sarah. <laughs> All right. Tell me about your neighborhood drama. Tell us about your neighborhood drama. Uh, maybe it's not going on right now, but it once did because HOAs and neighbors lose their mind over the silliest things. True story. 919-860-1015. With that, we got Jimmy with us. Good morning, Jimmy. What happened to you, my friends? This is more actually my drama. Um, I got fined by my HOA for hanging an American flag. And uh, um, I was hanging a merit flag off my porch, and I got fined by the HOA because the flag was too big. So the pettyism out of me, I went and bought a uh, hundred flags and I hanged them all around my house. Oh. <laughs> I love and you. Being a vet, I love you. Being a I love vet, you. Being a vet, that kind of hurt me when they yes. find me. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I just turn around and just hang a hurt, hurt flags around yeah. my house, and of course I got fined again for that. But it was still funny. It was that. worth was like, every penny, wasn't did. it? Bravo! <laughs> Thank you for your service. You hang as many freaking flags as you want. That's in right. Fact, in fact, you're a vet. Go to your nearest camping world, climb the flagpole, <laughs> and bring down that one that's the size of a football field. Drape your yeah. house in uh, it. It was it was just straight confidence and. Pain. I was like, yeah, you don't find me for one flat. I'll take a fine for 100 flats. The flat that I hung was just your normal size flat, and they fined me for it. I was so confused, so I, I went to a uh, dealership and got one of those 
the, like the double size of a normal American flag. <laughs> yes, thank you, Jimmy. That right off my porch. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, yes, you did, talking Jimmy. About. Hey, well hey, that's our Jimmy right there. Hey, where are you calling from again, Jimmy? I live in Greenville. Gotcha. Thank you, Jimmy in Greenville. Good morning. See you, buddy. Doing you, buddy. What does a military vet have to do? Can he hang his flag and not, That's you know. That's ridiculous. I mean, come <laughs> on. What a slab in the face. Yeah, I'm with him on that. Good Way to go all in on Petty, Jimmy. Good for you, bud. All right, yeah. next up, we got Alicia with us right now. Good morning, Alicia. Good morning. How are y'all doing today? Good. Uh, with your name, Alicia, I just expect some drama behind it with some uh, neighborhood okay. stuff. So what do we got today for you, Alicia? Okay, this was a few years ago. It's nothing too crazy, but I had this neighbor that would just drive super fast in the neighborhood, would complain about everything, and I have younger kids. So, like, even if I went to shoot, like, I would even have cops coming to shoot because, you know, we had a big yard and the rules applied. Well, push comes to shove. One of their workers, I have all these cameras around my house, and one of their workers came and stole a bunch of their tool equipment. And then they came knocking at my door, and they was like, hello, I hate to do this, but one of my workers, you know, was stealing equipment at 2 o'clock in the morning. Can we see your camera, you know, your camera footage? And I was just like, nope. Ah, okay. So the guy who was driving fast owned a company, right? Yep, owned a company, a landscaping company, and was just like, I guess one of their workers came in and stole equipment in the middle of the night, and they had, like, tormented us, like, my family for years, just always calling the cops. Anytime we were shooting, doing target practice. (laughs) You should say, hey, man, look here, bud. I know you got the cops on speed dial. Call them. They can help. And then shut the door in his face. Alicia, I love you. Listen, and I don't don't have anything against you. If you got a 50 acres that you're living on and you want to do that. I think it's funny. I, I love Alicia's like, I don't know why they're calling the cops on us when we're shooting our guns out back. Uh, Alicia, thank you for the time today. We appreciate it. And sorry you had to deal with but that. But I like that. Yeah, uh, go I ahead, like Brian. that pettiness. I like how it was a rivalry. Hatfields yeah. McCoy yeah. style. Yeah. It's like they, they, when they were, when it was time for them to be in need, you said, oh, uh, 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 yeah. I keep receipts and here is the yeah. manila envelope exactly. holding all of them. Alicia. Exactly. Thank you for the time today. You have a good Wednesday, okay? Y'all too. Bye you know, that bye, happens bye. in our neighborhood sometimes where people get on the Wendell Falls Facebook kind of residence page. Anybody hear gunshots? And listen, I like the fact that we look out for each other, please. But most of the time, it's just, you know, Wendell is also still Wendell. We have this major neighborhood, right? But then right next to it is still people with a lot of land that like to do Wendell things who've lived there forever, yeah. much like Alicia. So usually it just ends up being what Alicia's trying to do. Like, why are you calling the cops on me? Yeah. I live on 20 acres. All right, with that, thanks for being here, Morning Fam. It's Kyle, Brian, and Sarah on Mix.